Mortgage rates saw their largest one-week drop since November of last year. That just happened. Michel, Mitch Rochelle is with us. He's our mortgage guy. He's our real estate guy, actually. Here he is. Now, are mortgage rates, mortgage applications, are they going up as rates come down a little? Mortgage rates uh, are coming down. Applications are going up. And to the question you asked in the tease, Stuart, will falling mortgage rates, you know, drive home prices? The answer is yes. And it'll probably drive home prices upwards. There are so many buyers standing on the sidelines saying, Maybe I'll just wait until rates come down a bit and rates came down a bit. And I think it's creating some uh, traction there. The other thing that I saw in the mortgage news is that refinance applications have gone up. So if you're refinancing at 7.8 percent, what was your mortgage before that? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, <laughs> OK, so we got mortgage rates down a little bit, mortgage applications up a little bit. That doesn't amount to a whole hill of beans, does it? Because this real estate market is still dead flat and not in good shape. Am I right? It, it, it's not in good shape if you are a realtor and looking for you know, sale transactions to make a living. If you're a homeowner and sort of counting the equity that you have in the home, it's great. Uh, if you're a seller, it's not terrible either, to be honest with you. Uh, what is troublesome is for buyers because buyers waiting around for things to get cheaper. Home prices aren't getting cheaper, and I don't see rates coming down dramatically lower. I want to know how we can build more affordable housing, because that seems to be the area where we're most in need of new construction. Why can't we get there? Uh, because home builders, sorry to trash the home builders, but they haven't innovated at all in the last 40 years of building homes. They still build them stick by stick, brick by brick, and that's just not the way to do it. It's time. Uh, and when you're borrowing money to build and you're borrowing money at high interest rates, a long protracted process isn't smart. Uh, actually, involved with two companies, we're building prefabricated homes. That's not you know a mobile home. It's a prefabricated home where we do as much as we can in a factory and deliver the parts and assemble homes at a construction site as opposed to build them at a construction site. We can build homes in two months as opposed to two years. And I think that that's the answer. You got to you got to take one of the land lumber labor variables out of the equation. And if you can save a lot of money on labor by doing it faster, uh, that's a way to make homes more affordable. Homes are the new homes are getting smaller, aren't they? Yeah, no, 100 percent. That's what the home builders are doing to keep prices down. They're just, you know, lobbing off a bedroom, getting rid of a powder room, getting rid of a study. Uh, the, the price per square foot probably is going up, but the sticker price on the home has come down. Mitch Rochelle, thanks for joining us this morning. Always appreciate it.